Hello, this is Mrs. Criswell. How to answer the warm up questions if there were any of these that you did not get. All right, in the diagram, find the measure of the angle. We know that this angle right here is 120 degrees. Angle um, three, right? That's a linear pair. Also, angle two, that's also a linear pair. Linear pairs add up to be 180 degrees, so angle two has to be 60. Angle three also has to be 60. Um, since we have two parallel lines here, 100 angle one, these are congruent angles, 20 degrees. Now angle four makes a linear pair with angle one. That one has to be 60 degrees. Now angle five and angle six were a lot trickier. These over here are marked congruent. So that is kind of where my eye went looking. I knew that five and six together had to equal 120 degrees because they are vertical angles with 120. This has to be congruent, but I did not have any evidence that they're the same measurement themselves. What I did over here was I noticed that this is 90 degrees. We've got two parallel lines. We have a transverse, which makes this also angles are marked congruent. Each of so knowing that this one right here is 45 degrees and this one is 90, using the triangle. We can figure out that x is also 45 degrees. If I know that angle 5 and 6 added together has to be 120. So I took 120 and subtracted off 45 degrees. And that left me with angle 5, 75. All right, the next section is solve the proportion. You're going to be how to properly solve them. Um, anytime we have a proportion like this, uh, in between two ratios, a uh, ratio is a fraction, an equal sign in between two ratios, we know that these are completely equivalent. Whenever x value goes here, on top of four has to be the exact same value as three. That value, in my opinion, the easiest way is we're going to cross multiply. To cross multiply, you're going to cross, and you have two times three. The bridge stays in the same place. On the other side, I'm going to cross eight times x, and eight times x is eight x. The equal signs. x equals 12 over 8, which reduces 3 over 2. <coughs> Number 2, I'm going to cross multiply up. Sign's going to stay where it is. Multiply up, and I'm going to get x. On the other side, I'm going to get 60. Divide both sides by Cross multiply up. I'm going to get x squared equals 9. This was it. beginning of the year. Anytime you square root both sides of an equation, you can't just square root, um, you have to put a plus minus. You have to put a plus minus in because x squared is two answers. This could equal positive 3 or could equal negative 3. If I plugged in positive 3 or negative 3, these two ratios would equal each other, positive 3 or negative 3. Both answers work. All right, number four. And it gets on the other side, cross multiply up. This time I'm multiplying a five by an x plus three. If you multiply, um, 
more than one term, there's like an addition or subtraction, you, you have So I'm going to distribute. <coughs> Computer's not been working very well lately. 5x plus 15 x subtract 15. 5x equals 9. Divide by 5. Okay. Uh, number 5, cross multiply up. And we're going to have the equal sign stay where it is. 12 times 3 is 36. And then on the other side, negative 7 times 4 minus x. I'm going to distribute that negative 7. Negative 28 plus 7x equals 36. Add the 28 to both sides. Get uh, 64. Divide by 7. Uh, that does not reduce. So 64 sevenths. We can cross multiply up. I'm going to get 9 on the other plus 1. Multiply this. Some of you may have used the box method. We do like 2x and then plus 1, x and then minus 3, and you. Uh, fill out the boxes and add them together. Some of you may do the FOIL method, which we're going to do 2x times x. 2x I'm just distributing that 2x to both terms. And then and we do And then I get 9 equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. Anytime you want to solve an equation with a squared, and we've got other terms, we're going to have to make this side say 0. I'm going to subtract 9. 2x squared minus 5x minus 12. I'm going to set the other side equal to 0. I just moved the 9, uh, the nine minus 9 to this side. It just uh, That's the way I like it, so I moved it over there. Right at this point, um, review. I'm not going to um, expect that you know this one time from this one video, but we would need to figure out um, the. And this really fast, uh, but I'm hopefully. You, this to you from Algebra 1. All right, so uh, 2x times... and then plus 3. All right, so that is um, the equation factored. From here you take each factor, set it equal to 0, and you solve each factor. So I get 2x equals negative 3, so x is negative 3. So I have two answers for that.